Welcome back, Griffin's Journey crew. Um, if you're new, my name is Crystal, and I run Griffin's Journey Canine Training in Northeastern Pennsylvania. Um, I'll put some links in the description below if you want to check out what we do here. And um, today we're going to be talking about muzzles. Okay, so there are certain situations where a muzzle can be useful and even necessary, but there's other times when a muzzle is definitely the wrong choice. How do you know when a muzzle is helpful? What type do you choose? Does my dog need to be trained to use a muzzle? This video will hopefully bring some clarity um, to the topic and help you decide when, why, and how to properly use a muzzle. So when might a dog need to be muzzled? Um, during an emergency is a good time. An injured or a frightened dog is more likely to bite, especially if you need to move or treat them in some way. Using a muzzle will keep you and anyone assisting you safe from any uncharacteristic behavior your dog may show in distress. Another reason you might need a muzzle is if your dog has a bite history. If your dog is aggressive or has bitten another dog or person in the past, a muzzle can be used for safety. Um, even if your dog has no bite history but you think there's a risk, like they lunge or bark at um, other dogs or other people, a muzzle can provide peace of mind, but keep in mind that the muzzle does not solve the underlying problem and you should definitely consult your vet and uh, a good trainer to work on some behavior modification for that. Another reason your dog might need a muzzle is if there's a risk of biting due to a threatening situation. There may be situ a situation that upsets or frightens your dog, such as a vet or grooming visit. Um, a muzzle can be used as a safety bar barrier for those, but you should definitely consider working with a trainer on behavior modification as a long-term solution for that. Another time your dog might need a muzzle is when required to by breed-specific legislation. Unfortunately, some states and provinces have breed-specific legislation which requires so-called dangerous breeds to wear a muzzle when not on private property. So now that we've talked about reasons why you, you would use a muzzle, um, when should you not use a muzzle? It seems obvious, but muzzles are used to prevent dog bites, not prevent problem behaviors. Muzzles are meant to be used for short periods of time and under direct supervision. Um, you should not use a muzzle to correct behavior problems such as barking or chewing. Correcting these requires consistent training um, for behavior modification instead. You should never use a muzzle um, to put your dog in an unnecessarily stressful situation, um, and you should never use a muzzle as a punishment. So there's a couple of different styles of muzzles. These are soft muzzles. And you see the snout just goes in there, and then it hooks behind the head with this little buckle. And then this is another soft muzzle. You can actually fit it a couple of different ways. So first you're going to Velcro it there and then Velcro it there. And then it also snaps behind the head with this buckle. And then there's, so those are the soft muzzles. And then there's basket style muzzles like these. This one is just a cheap one that we got at a local pet store. It has a plastic buckle, hooks behind the head. This plastic is not a very good quality. Um, it's, it's kind of sharp on the edges, so it's probably not that comfortable for the dogs. And it's, like I said, it's like a cheap, cheap plastic. But that's a basket style muzzle. And then the muzzle that we actually prefer is the Baskerville muzzle. It's it's also plastic, but it's a really like thick, like rubberized plastic, and it's pretty comfortable. My dogs don't mind wearing these. Um, and instead of a buckle or a like a plastic snap, it actually has a buckle, so it's it makes us feel a little bit more comfortable. It also has a strap 
that attaches here that will go over the head too. Um, but yeah, this is the, the basket style muzzle that we prefer. It's called Baskerville. So if you want to check those out. It fits like that. Let's talk about fit. The right fit is key. Too loose and your dog will be able to remove it. Um, if it's too tight, it'll inhibit their ability to breathe, pant, or um, drink and can cause sh chafing. Uh, straps should be fitted so you can just fit one finger between your dog's head and the strap. When you're buying a muzzle, um, take measurements or consult a knowledgeable sales associate and they can help you out with the proper fit. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below for the muzzles that we use if you're interested in checking those out. Alright guys, so sorry if the first half of the video seemed uh, robotic or scripted. I'm kind of new to this YouTube video stuff and I didn't want to leave anything out and I didn't want to start rambling so I did type out what I wanted to say so I was kind of reading it just so I didn't forget anything because my goal is to put out some informative content for you guys. Um, so this is the not scripted part. Uh, <laughs> you'll get to see the real me, how I talk. Um, and we're just gonna show you how to muzzle condition your dog. So I have a muzzle here and I put some peanut butter on it. And then I have my, my co-worker here. Yep. And anytime she shows interest in it, I'm gonna give her a, a positive marker. I'm gonna go yes or good. So I want... I want her to feel comfortable sticking her nose in this. I don't want to force it on her. I don't want to scare her with it. I want it to be voluntary. So I want her to associate this muzzle with um, something that she likes, which in this case is peanut butter. Good girl. Good. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. And then last night was Halloween, so I also have some uh, trick or treat treats that they got. Great. Yeah, good girl. So this was this is the Baskerville muzzle, and it's really easy to feed them. They can open their mouths, they can pant, they can drink. Basically, they can uh, do anything a normal dog would do that doesn't have a muzzle on, um, except it prohibits biting. So. It's, it's safe for everyone around, it's good for the dog. Um, we're, the, the goal with muzzle conditioning is not to rush it. You know, take it slow, let, it, let them lead, but um, don't let them give up. Like, she's pretty willing to, to stick her nose in here, she loves peanut butter. If your dog isn't a peanut butter fan, you can use whatever treats that they like. And um, if you're using a treat instead of peanut butter, you're just gonna hold the treat in the muzzle like this and then you're gonna put it up to them and let them stick their face in it to get it. You see how that? So she voluntarily got that out of the tree. And um, you're just gonna work slow and um, just have fun with it kind of. I mean muzzle conditioning is very helpful and beneficial but you can still have fun with it. some peanut butter on your nose there. Good girl. Alright, so I just buckled it up on her and I'm gonna grab the video. Okay, so I probably, this is a size Five, yeah, size five. I could probably go with a size four for her because it's kind of close to her eyes. Um, but this is how it should fit. I can just stick one finger between, well, this is two, but I can just 
stick a finger between the strap and her head. And like I said, I could go down a size because it's kind of close to her eyes. But there it is. That's muzzle conditioning, guys. Um, sorry it took so long to get this video out. I know I've been promising it for a few weeks, but uh, I finally did it. And be gentle. Like I said, I'm kind of new at this, but my goal long term is to put out informative content so you guys can live a better life when you go. Alright, check us out at Griffin's Journey Canine Training. Thanks.